Good morning, Mrs. Jane, and good morning, fellow researchers. My name is Mary Claire Lewis Sipatnan, and this is my study in Applied Science entitled Production of Liquid Cleanser Out of Tawa Tawa Leaves Extract. Our skin is the largest organ of our body. It protects our body from harmful things or other external factors such as bacteria, chemicals, and temperature. Epidermis, dermis, and hyperdermis are the main layer of skin that is prone to many problems like skin cancer, acne, wrinkles, and rashes. Taking care of our skin is one of a good habit as it is essential to our general health. Proper skin care is important because our skin is the largest barrier against infection. By taking care of our skin, we should consider the cleansing products that is not harmful to our skin since it is the first step and the base in skincare routines. A cleanser is a product used to remove oil, dirt, and makeup. Tawa Tawa is widely used as a traditional herbal medicine across many cultures, particularly for asthma, skin ailments, and hypertension. It contains of terpenoids, tannin, forbic acids, fatty acids, sterols, and flavonoids. Ethanol is also found in the extract of Tawa Tawa, which contains antibacterial and antifungal properties. Ethanol is one of the common ingredients found in cosmetics and beauty products. It acts as an astringent to help clean skin. This study is made by the researcher to gain more knowledge about the variable being used and its potentials. This study can also help everyone. And here are the research objectives. Number one is to know if the antibacterial property of Tawa Tawa leaves extract possible to use as a main component in making an organic liquid cleanser. Number two is to know what active components can be used in making an organic liquid cleanser. Number three is to know what amount of antibacterial property of Tawa Tawa leaves extract will be used in making an organic liquid cleanser. The main objective of this study is to make an organic liquid cleanser using Tawa Tawa leaves extract. This study will answer the following questions. Number one, is the antibacterial property of Tawa Tawa leaves extract possible to be used in making an organic liquid cleanser? Number two, what are the active components present in Tawa Tawa leaves that can be used as a main component of organic liquid cleanser? Number three, is to what amount of the antibacterial property of Tawa Tawa leaves extract will be used as a main component in making an organic liquid cleanser? Here are the hypotheses made. For question number one, it is not possible for the antibacterial property of Tawa Tawa leaves extract to be used in making an organic liquid cleanser. It is possible for the antibacterial property of Tawa Tawa leaves extract to be used in making an organic liquid cleanser. For question number two, there is no chemical component found in Tawa Tawa leaves extract that can be used as a main component of organic liquid cleanser. There are chemical components found in Tawa Tawa leaves extract that can be used as a main component of organic liquid cleanser. And for question number three, the amount of the antibacterial property of Tawa Tawa leaves extract is not enough to be a main component of an organic liquid cleanser. The amount of the antibacterial property of Tawa Tawa leaves extract is enough to be a main component of an organic liquid cleanser. These are the significance of the study. The researcher conducted the study to test the effectiveness of Tawa Tawa leaves extract as a main component of an organic liquid cleanser. This study will also contribute to, to the needy. Since cleansers are expensive, they can just make this at their home, to the community. Everyone can now have an easy and cheap cleanser to use. To the medical field. This study can open up opportunities for Tawa Tawa. To the school, the students can learn more from this study. To the researcher, this study will help the researchers to know and add knowledge about Tawa Tawa. To the future researchers, this study can be used as a reference for their own study. Decoction process of Tawa Tawa leaves and making of the product. For the first step, 
The researcher will prepare 500 grams of tawa-tawa leaves from the streets and home garden. Wash the leaves truly. After that, put the leaves to the 1,000 grams of boiling water by the process of decoction method. After 20 minutes, soak the leaves, let it cool, and then put it in a jar. Finally, add honey as a sweetener, stir it well, and refrigerate for a week. Here are the review of related literatures and studies. Here is the review of related legal bases. Here is the review of related local bases. And the review of related foreign bases. And now, onto the methodology. Here is the IPO conceptual framework and the Gantt chart. To be able to evaluate the effectivity of the Tawatawa leaves extract as a potential liquid cleanser, the researcher will perform the proposed methodology involving four different bases, which are the collection of materials needed, the process of the steam distillation method, making of the set product, and the trials and setups, including different ingredients to be added for comparison. Safety precautions are observed during the making of the set output. Gathering of materials. To begin, the researcher will gather the needed materials to be used, such as tawa-tawa leaves, which is the main variable, containers, strainer, mortar and pestle, teaspoon, cup, and the different additives to be used for the trials. Steam distillation process of tawa-tawa leaves. First, clean the tawa-tawa leaves truly. After that, add water to the still and then the plant. Turn on the heat and then filter the collected extract. Pour the extract into a container and then clean the steel. Making of the product. For the execution of the third phase of the procedure, the researcher will prepare the extracted extract, the ingredients to add, and three different containers for the process later on. For the dilution process, the researcher will start to place all the ingredients such as liquid castile soap, almond oil, vitamin E oil, and chamomile tea in every portion of the extracted tawa-tawa. Let the mixture sit for 10 minutes and then seal the containers. Trials and Setup For the trials, the researcher will prepare the tawa-tawa extract and the additive for each setup. In this trial, the amount of the independent variable will be the amount of ingredients that will be served as additives except for the chamomile tea, where the amount of the main variable including the chamomile tea is controlled. The researcher will prepare measuring tools to ensure the accuracy of every measurement. For the first trial, the researcher will put 1 fourth cup of liquid castile soap, 1 half organic almond oil, and 4 drops of vitamin E oil into 3 fourth cup of chamomile tea and 8 drops of tawa-tawa oil. For the trial 2, the researcher will now combine 3 fourth cup of liquid castile soap, 1 fourth cup of organic almond oil, and 3 drops of vitamin oil into 3 fourth cup of chamomile tea and 8 drops of tawa-tawa extract. In the last trial, the researcher will put only one fourth cup of liquid castile soap and one half organic almond oil. The ingredients added that served as a solvent in the dilution process to avoid skin irritations when the oil is used due to its high concentration. Lastly, here are the references.